Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation where today we're going to be talking about three powerful exit strategies that you can apply to any market. And that includes any time frame as well. Now, the reason why we're focusing on exit strategies today is because oftentimes traders have a very difficult time and they feel when they don't get out at the most opportune place, they feel that, well, their strategy is faulty or maybe they're trading the wrong market or the wrong time frame. Well, perhaps it's so, but oftentimes your strategy is okay. The market is okay. It's just that your exit method is faulty. So what we're going to do today is focus on three powerful exit strategies that you can start applying as early as today, if you'd like. And they can be applied once again to any market and any time frame. Now, let's look at this chart right here. For example, we're going to be looking at this a lot today. This is an older chart of FANG, FANG. But for educational purposes, we're just going to focus on this today. Now, let's say that you're interested in this stock, okay? You want to buy it. And your strategy, whatever it's based off of, generates a buy signal right here, okay? So you're excited about this. Let's say you get in at the close or maybe at the opening of the next day. And in the following days, you have a really nice profit. You're really proud of yourself. But the only problem is you don't know where to get out. See, you spent a lot of time on entering but you're not sure about where to exit. Some guy on uh, TV says it's going to continue higher. Another guy in a chat room says maybe you should exit right here. And you don't know really what to do. So you kind of hold off and wait. And this is what happens to a lot of traders. And then this happens. OK, look familiar. You not only give back all of your profit, but now you're in the loss column. And now you're holding on to a long term position, just trying to break even. So this is what happens to so many traders. It's not that you had a bad idea. It's that you had a faulty area for exiting or you didn't know where to exit. So in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you three exit techniques. In fact, here's one of them. It would have actually had you exiting the trade right here for a quick 25 point gain almost near the top before the market fell out of bed. And this is just one of the three exit strategies that you can apply to any market that you'll be learning today. So welcome. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 45 years. Started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, where I was a specialist for nine years. I traded through the crash of 87 and the bull market that followed. I made markets in about roughly about 60 stocks. And so in my 45 years of trading, I've seen just about anything and everything you can imagine, okay? Any method or technique or brand new system that's out on the market today, most likely it's been around. It's just been rebranded and renamed uh, and reformatted. So there's really not a lot of stuff under the sun that I haven't seen or even traded myself. So roughly about 12 years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies and we formulated specialist trading with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate traders all of the things that have high levels of consistency. So that you don't have to focus and spend your hard-earned time and most especially your money on things that really have no levels of consistency in them. I know a lot of you are struggling right now trying to make ends meet. And usually it's because you're trading something that's not consistent at all. But if you can get that edge, that can turn your trading around in just a matter of days. And so this is what we do. We teach you all of these different edges that have high levels of consistency so that you can make your own trading decisions. This is the goal of specialist trading. And you'll see that in today's educational presentation. Now, before we begin, we are required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results by applying these three exit strategies, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated again in the future. And also, since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, if you haven't done so already, I see a lot of new names here in the uh, participants list, please feel free to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for specialist trading. Uh, there's a lot of great free information, a lot of great free education on a daily basis. I post anywhere from three to seven or eight different examples of uh, signals our strategies have generated. I go into a little bit of uh, explanation as to why. I also post little bits of financial wisdom to uh, kind of get you in the mood and get you uh, on the right track to trading and the right mindset. So there's lots of great free education on a daily basis. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter. 
Now, remember, we are different from other webinars you may have attended. I know I always say this, but we always get students that uh, say, well, Steve, why don't you just tell us what the market's going to do? Or why don't you just tell me what stock I should be trading? Or why don't you just say what the perfect time frame is? You see, in my opinion, that's a recipe for a disaster. That, in my opinion, is the main reason why most traders fail. It's because when you allow someone to make those decisions for you, what you're doing is you're taking yourself out of the game and you're basically saying to the markets, I don't know enough. I'm not experienced enough. I haven't been trading long enough. I'm not educated. Uh, I don't really have what it takes to make my own decisions. So I'll let you do that for me. And you think of any other profession where someone would do that. Anywhere from a, a bus driver saying, hey, listen, uh, does anyone on the bus want to drive this? Uh, maybe you can do it better than I can. I'll just take a break. Why don't you tell me what I should do? Or even an airline pilot saying, hey, listen, uh, what do you think I should do? How do you think I should land this? Or how about a brain surgeon saying to the other uh, doctors or to the nurses, how do you think I should operate here? What do you think? All right, tell me what you think is the best way to do this. Sounds silly, right? But traders do this on a daily basis because every time you go to a chat room, every time you turn on the TV to find out what some guy on TV is saying he likes, or every time you wait for the earnings to come out, you're basically saying, I don't know what to do. And I'm waiting for you to tell me what I, what I should do, whether buy or sell. And you should never get into trading doing that way. You should never make a decision based off that. That's why most traders fail. You're taking yourself out of the game. So that's why we formulated specialist trading so that we can give you all these high level uh, opportunities, all these different variables that have high levels of consistency so that you can make your trading decision. You should never let anyone steer the boat for you. You've got to do it yourself. So for that reason, my goal is not to force feed you signals. We don't have any chat rooms or any uh, signals, uh, nightly signal uh, uh, announcements here at Specialist Training because that would be doing you a disservice. My goal is not to trade for you, but to teach you how to trade with the Specialist Edge. Now, this is the same way I was taught when I was struggling four decades ago and what has sustained me. And this is what I try and instill in all of my students around the world in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States. Hopefully, you'll see some of that attention to detail in today's educational class. Now, before we begin, just a few announcements. Remember, this is not an interactive presentation, so uh, please kindly turn off or disable all cameras and microphones. Uh, we're just going to have a static PowerPoint presentation, but we will have questions and answers. So if you have questions, please wait till the end of the class. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. This won't be a real, real long class, so don't worry. Uh, we'll go through the slides. I'll teach you all these three different strategies. And then please feel free to ask questions then, okay? The last thing I will announce is that this is being recorded. So if you have technical difficulties, if you're having technical issues hearing or seeing the screen, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be mailed a link to this recording so that you can watch it whenever you'd like, okay? So remember, ask questions at the end, disable all cameras and microphones, and let's begin today's educational presentation, all right? And let's just jump right into it. We're talking about strategy number one, exit strategy number one. And this is called previous high, previous low. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, let's look at this chart again. Remember, we're going to be focusing mainly on this chart in FANG. All right. As we see here, the stock has been going higher, right? Looks like it's in a nice uptrend. But what do we have here? This is what candlestick traders call a bearish engulfing pattern. Very negative sign to conventional candlestick traders, okay? So let's say that you wanted to sell this once this formation had been uh, uh, displayed, you sold at the market, but where do you get out? I mean, uh, do you get out when you make, uh, you know, a certain amount of money or how, how does this work? Well, one of the simplest ways is to look at the previous low. If you're selling short, to look at the previous low, which would be right here, right? This is what we call the short-term low. And what happens so many times is, is that that acts like a magnet. If you get a valid, consistent setup, many times price will come to that previous low if you're selling. So that's a good place to cover your short or to get out. And so let's say you had taken this bearish engulfing pattern signal. Well, look what happened. We went right down to it, and then we stopped and started to firm up. So you see how this acts as a magnet. This is a really convenient place either to exit a portion of your position or 
to exit altogether, or maybe once it gets to the previous low or the previous high, to move your stop to unchanged. So that way, if it really continues much, much lower or much, much higher, at least uh, you know, you'll know you have uh, a portion of, if you sold a portion of your position, or if you move your stop to unchanged, you're still in the trade. And the worst that can happen is that you'll break even. All right. So that was in the supposition that we wanted to go short. A lot of traders don't like to go short. So let's say we just wanted to buy here. And one of our strategies, which actually is one of our strategy signals, was generated to go long right here. And we'll be looking at this throughout all the three strategies. Okay. So we want to buy here. Let's say we bought on the close. So now using that same concept, since we're long, we want to find out where the most previous high was. And that's right here. Okay. This is the previous high. So now we have a decision. We can either sell everything right here. We can sell a portion of our position. Or what we can do is once price gets here, we can move our stop wherever it is. Let's say it's right below this pivot low. We can move it to unchanged. And so that way, if it goes up a little bit, then heads lower, at least we didn't lose anything. So as we see the trade unfold, in three days, we got there. So you can, once again, either exit everything, exit a portion, or just move your stop to unchange. Now, that would have been a wise decision because look what happened. It continued to go higher. But remember, you have to really be careful whenever you're trading. You can't just sit and watch it. You have to either raise your stop. Uh, you have to have another exit level because, as we all know, what happened with this trade, look what happened. Now, had you moved your stop to unchanged, at least you would have broken even when it came back down here. And you would have said, well, I didn't make any money, but I didn't lose anything either. Or if you, you had sold a portion of your position here, at least you would have at least had a profit, maybe broken even on the second half and made a little profit on the first. So there's lots of different ways to experiment with this and feel free to research and see how it could have worked for you. Go back and look at some of your trades and see if you could have used the most recent high or the most recent low as an exit point. So let's review, okay? If you have a sell signal, if you've gone short, or if you bought the puts, whatever you're doing, remember your exit should be based on the most recent low because that's where most likely price is going to gravitate to, all right? Let's say you went long. You bought the stock. You bought the future, the currency pair. Let's say you have the options. Well, remember, you don't exit based off the price of the option. You exit based off what the stock is doing, what the option is based off of. So the option is not based off a of price. It's based off of a stock that you're tracking. So if the stock gets up to a certain level, that's where you should exit the option. This is a very common question I get from students. So if you're long, what you're looking for is for the stock, the future, the currency pair to get up to the most recent high. Now, let's say you have two options, two calls. All right. Well, maybe you want to sell one of them. And then you'll say, OK, I'll have a stop. Or if we get if price gets back to that area where I would have bought the stock, then I'll exit. So lots of different ways to use this. This is one of the simplest and really most consistent ways to trade because price acts like a magnet towards those most recent highs and lows. All right, let's go into exit strategy number two now. Now, this is an extremely simple method. You can start using this right away. This one works really well with markets that have taken off. And you said, wow, this is really going straight up or straight down. And this can really help you exit near the top or near the bottom if you're short. And this is where we use the five period simple moving average. And remember, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be looking at the same chart here in FANG, which is a daily chart of a stock. But you can apply this to a five minute chart of the E-mini futures. You can apply it to a weekly chart of Apple. You can apply it to a, a monthly chart of the dollar yen, or you can apply it to a, a daily chart of Bitcoin. It makes no difference. But you always want to have, if you're going to be using this particular exit strategy, you want to have a five period simple moving average applied. OK, Does that makes sense. So let's go back to our friendly chart here in FANG. And this is where our buy signal was generated. All right. So the first thing you want to do is apply a five period simple moving average right here in blue. All right. So here's the buy signal. Let's say we bought on the close. All right. So how does this work? Well, what you want to do is track the price of the stock. Now, the first time that price closes below 
that five period simple moving average, that's where you want to start considering selling. So let's look and see what happened. If we decided to buy here, we all know that we had a really nice run. And if we look at the stock, we see as it's going higher, it's either hugging or price is closing above. Now here we opened just below, went a little lower, but still closed above. So this is not something we're concerned about. Here we touched, we went a little lower, but closed above. All these prices have closed above. Now, obviously, if we were short and price was really running to the downside, price would be on the left side of the five period moving average and price would be hugging, touching or below the five period moving average. But because we're long now, we want to see that price closes and remains closing above the five periods of moving average. Now, the very first time it closes below, we have two choices, okay? Because this is our trigger here. Now, we can either be an aggressive trader and say, listen, I bought way back here and I've just taken all of this profit here. And you can be an aggressive trader and say, we have a full-fledged close here. So a couple of minutes before the close, you're an aggressive trader, you just sell. You say, thank you for the nice gain. I'm getting out. Now, that's an aggressive way to trade. You're just in and out and you don't care because uh, you just want to take your profit and move on to the next one. Now, for all intents and purposes, this could open the next day and then go right back up and then continue higher. And you may say to yourself, gosh, why did I sell? But that's why we call this an aggressive sell. Now, there's another way to trade it. If we have our first close below the five period moving average, remember, we touched it here, but we never closed until right here. So once we have our first close below, we can trade it conservatively, which means that if we trade below, we can place a stop sell right here. If we trade below the low of this close or the low of this bar, that's where we'll exit. So on this day, you would have seen that we closed below the first time in weeks. So instead of selling at the market the way an aggressive trader would, you'd place a stop order right here, one or two ticks below that. And therefore, if we go down and touch, well, then you're out. That gives you the confirmation that it's right to get out of the trade. Now, let's see what happened if we would have traded this conservatively. Well, yes, the next day it gapped down, it gapped lower. So we're out on the opening, okay? We're out right here. We say to ourselves, wow, I hope... Uh, you know, I didn't give anything away. I hope it doesn't go right back up. But that was a good sell because look what happened afterwards. So you still captured a nice profit here, okay? So you understand how this works. If you're long, once you buy, you want to start seeing price go in your direction. If it starts to go in your direction, obviously, as we see right here, price is going to be on the left side of the five-period moving average. And so you continue to track it. And once you have your first close below, that's where you're confronted with two choices. If you're an aggressive trader, you just say, okay, we close there. I'm selling on the market. You can do this either a minute before the close, or you can do it on the opening of the next day. Or if you're a conservative trader, you say, okay, well, this is my uh, warning here. We just had our first close below. So I'll place the next day, I'll place a stop limit right below that, or stop uh, market right below that. And you would have been stopped out on the opening but that's okay. Looking back weeks later, you say, thank goodness I exited up here instead of took the loss. Now, obviously, if you're short, if you would have gone short, it would have been the same thing, but to the opposite. Price would be, let's just look at this, price would be on this side, the left side of the, of the five period moving average. And once we closed up above, you could place a stop right here. See above and you see where the conservative version would have worked a lot better on this uh, example, because if you had sold here at the market, well, look what happened. Three or four days later, it went even lower. But if you had a conservative point of view, you would not have gotten out until ultimately it traded and started to go much higher, okay? So that's exit strategy number two, extremely simple. This one we use in runaway markets where the market is really going in your direction with a trade and you're saying, wow, okay, I, maybe I sold a portion of my position already. I still have my position left. I don't know where to get out. I don't know how high this thing can go or how low it can go. That's where the five per period simple moving average really comes in handy. Now let's go to our third, and in my opinion, our most popular strategy, okay, for exiting. That's why I saved it for last. And that is when we apply range extensions. You've heard me talk about it before. Uh, it's a very popular and simple way to trade. I like to use it on a lot of my uh, particular intraday trades because oftentimes you can get a really nice exit two to three times more the risk than what you have. But for those of you who aren't familiar with range extensions, let me share with you exactly what they are. Okay. 
All right, once again, let's go back to our example here in FANG. Here's our strategy buy right here, okay? Let's say we bought it at the close or we're thinking of buying on the opening of the next day. It makes no difference, but you can determine where these exit levels are even before you enter into the trade. So how does this work? Well, whenever you get a buy signal, uh, it's easier when you have when you're using a, a setup the way we do at Specialist Trading, that meaning that all the buy signals are generated on the close of a bar. So if you're using a discretionary type of method where you say, well, gosh, some news came out, I'm going to buy it, it's good. It's a little bit more difficult to apply this method because we need the bar where you made the decision to either buy or sell. We need that to close, okay? Uh, this doesn't work as well when you're just trading intraday bars and just kind of going off a whim, you know, when you're saying, oh, I think I'll buy here. I think I'll sell here. You need to have a little bit more structure. And that's what we teach at Specialist Trading. So for example, this buy signal was generated once the bar closed, right? So this is what we call our setup bar. The setup bar is always the bar where the requirements have all been met, where all the rules have been met, and you have a signal either to sell or to buy. In this case, it's a buyer. So this is the setup bar. What you want to do is measure the range of the setup bar from the extreme high to the extreme low right here. All right. And this is 100% of its range from top to bottom. However much that amount is, okay, let's say it's five points. I don't know where it is on this scale, but let's just say what you want to do is take that same amount of points and add it to the top, the very high of this uh, bar here, your setup bar. And that will give you your first exit level, your first range extension level. And we call this a 200% because this is 100%. You add the amount of points, it gives you 200%. Now, traders who like to get in and out quickly usually apply the 200% exit level because they say, well, you know, I just want to get out and it's the first level. I don't know how high or how low this is going to go. I really don't care. I'm more of a scalper. So that's okay. So you will use this exit range exit. Okay. Now, if you feel this has a little bit more room to go higher, what you want to do is take that same amount of points. And remember, you can apply this to futures, current spares, Bitcoin makes no difference, but whatever the amount is, it could be pips from top to bottom. The amount of points where you added it here, now you add it again, and this will give you the next level. Okay, so we're just adding onto these levels the same amount. Now, if you think it's going to go higher, but you still don't want to stay in the trade that long, then you would use this level. You'd place a limit right here. So these are all limits where you would place an order. Now, if you think it's going to go much higher, like you really have been analyzing this and you really like this stock or this market, this time frame, well, then you would just simply add it again. And then again, so these are the range extensions, all right? There's 100%, we add it, 200%, we add the same amount, 300, 400, and 500. Now, these last two are the levels you would use if you really felt that there was going to be a big move coming up and you thought, I don't want to get out too soon, I'm going to wait for it here. And so you would use 400 and 500 to exit the trade, all right? Now, here's another thing. A lot of traders like to use what's called a risk reward ratio, a good risk reward. What that means is, let's just say your stop was somewhere like right here, all right? So you're going to enter here and you're going to exit here if you're wrong. So you want to make, usually to have a good risk reward ratio, you want to make at least twice that amount. So twice that amount would roughly come up to the top level, okay? And this all depends where your stop is. Now, if your stop was just right here or midway down, well, then maybe you could exit here or here to get a two to one risk reward ratio. But if you use a standard low right here, okay, from here to here, if you're going to double that, it would most likely be either at the 400 or 500 that you want to exit with a good risk reward ratio, meaning that you're risking uh, basically half or you're making the reward is twice as much as your risk amount. All right, that will guarantee that you're in the trade much longer. In other words, not in the trade, but you're trading for a, a much uh, longer period of time because you're not uh, basically treading water. You're making more than you're risking per trade. Okay, a lot of traders like to use this. So it's it's your choice, but this is where these come in really handy. Let's just say that we felt this was going to go higher and we wanted a nice risk reward ratio. So we placed a limit to exit right here. Okay. That's our sell level. That's where we're going to exit our entire trade. And look what happened. We got right up there and we made a nice 25 points on the trade in just uh, roughly less than two weeks. 
Not a bad little trade, right? Now, at this point, a lot of traders get greedy, especially our new students. They say, well, Steve, if I made 25 points, maybe I can make 50. Maybe I can make 60 or 70. Well, here's one thing we teach. In the beginning, while you're learning how to apply the range extensions, we always suggest that you exit your entire position at the final exit level, which we did right here. And the reason is, as you've seen in past examples here with exit strategy number one and two, is that the trend will most likely change. Oftentimes, you'll see it get right to that level and change. And so you don't want to be left holding the bag if you are getting greedy and thinking that the market's going to be going much higher. So in the beginning, while you're using this, while you're learning to apply range extensions, always exit your position entirely at the final level, okay? That's 500%. Because oftentimes, we, it's been noted, we've seen this so many times, it makes no difference what time frame or what market, but we'll see the trend change there. And you don't want to sit back and say, gosh, I had a really nice profit, and now it looks like I'm just going to break even. Okay, so try and exit everything at that final range extension. Okay, so let's recap. Once again, the way to calculate range extensions is the setup bar. When you have a bar where all the requirements are met, all the rules have been qualified, where it's telling you either to buy or to sell, that's called your setup bar, okay? When that closes, you simply measure the range from top to bottom, right? Now, if you're going long, if you're buying, let's say this is five points, well, then you would simply, from the very top of this bar, add five points, okay? And that gives you your first exit level. If you want the next one, you add another five points and then continue to add up and you, until you finally get to the last level, which is 500%, okay? So that's where you should get out of everything. But experiment with this. Go back once again and look at your last 10, 20 trades. See if this could have helped you. This is good for traders who feel that uh, they want an exact level to exit. It's good for if you're a trader that likes to get in that quickly, you can use the first two levels, or it's good if you're a trader that really feels that this is going to be a strong, powerful move, you can use either the fourth or fifth level right here, okay? But practice with them and see what feels the most comfortable. So there you have it, three powerful exit strategies that you can apply to any market. Remember, as I said in the beginning, we are first and foremost an educational company. Our goal is not to force feed you signals. Our goal as an educator is to provide you with powerful, consistent tips, techniques, and strategies so that ultimately you can make your own decisions. So these are really three great ways to exit a trade so that if you've been having trouble with a strategy, let's say it's one of mine, let's say it's one of yours that you don't really feel is working for you, it's maybe because you're using the wrong exit method. These three can really help you. Now, Inevitably, here's the question I get from so many prospective students. They say, Steve, I love this. This is great, but I don't have a strategy to trade. The strategy I bought cost me $10,000. It's the worst thing. It, I've had maybe one winning trade. Everything else is a loser. It doesn't even matter. Even if I used you, your three exit strategies, it would never even apply to any of these because nothing seems to work. Okay. So if you need a strategy, we have a great offer for all of you attending today. We're going to offer you. What I feel is my favorite strategy is something that I continue to use on a daily basis. And it was the first strategy that my mentors taught me. This is strategy number four, okay? We're going to give you instant course access, detailed instruction. You're going to get all the course lessons, and you're going to learn all the different entries, exits, and stops. Now, right now, I just went over three different exits. In the course, there are roughly seven different exit points, seven places to place your stops, and seven different ways to enter. Remember, we provide you with the information. It's up to you to decide how you want to trade it. Okay, this is a great, great way to become familiar with us. And we're going to give you a great, great discount in today's uh, special promotion. Remember, strategy four works on all markets and time frames. It's the very first strategy I learned from my mentors, and I continue to use it on a daily basis. Let me share with you some recent strategy number four signals, okay, just to show you how versatile this method is. All right, here was a buy signal that just happened uh, roughly uh, uh, about a month ago in NTNX. As you can see here, a buy signal was generated. And look at the nice gap up the very next day. This can work to the downside as well. Here's a sell signal in Apple. Now, this happened just about uh, three weeks ago. Okay, nice sell signal. 
as we see the stock went straight down coming into last week. And if you missed that sell signal, guess what? One was generated here and another one was generated just a week or so ago. Now, what if you're an intraday trader? Well, here's a 10 minute chart of the spiders. Look at all the buy signals that were generated. Now this was on the 17th, which was just Monday. Okay, now a lot of buy signals were generated on that day, but as we all know, Nothing happened. Nothing really happened. We're just kind of going sideways on the day. If you were lucky enough to hold your position overnight, though, look at the big gap up that happened the very next day. You see, strategy number four was already anticipating and seeing that the market was ready to coil up and, and break out to the upside. It just hadn't happened yet. So the very next day, the market gapped up tremendously, as shown here on the 10-minute spiders, and you could have made a quick 10 points holding on to your intraday position. If you're a currency pair trader, here's another buy signal that was generated just about three weeks ago. It doesn't really look like anything's happening in the dollar yen, but look what happened after that. It took off to the upside. And if you missed that introductory buy signal, two more were generated right here. And you can apply it as well to a weekly chart of Bitcoin. Okay, this is going all the way back to April of this year. Sell signal was generated. We've all seen how terrible Bitcoin has been acting. And look what happened on this weekly time frame. If you didn't take that sell signal, there were a lot more generated just a couple of months ago to go short. Now, we're also going to include an extra bonus. We're not only throwing in this great, great strategy at a great discount. We're also going to throw in something else because everything you've seen today has been from a display on the PTS Primo charting platform. Everything is one click away. All the automated uh, range extension exits, all the buy signals, all the different tips techniques I've accumulated in my 45 career, 45 year trading career, you've seen here displayed on the PTS Primo charting platform. Because you've come and watched this uh, special presentation today, we have a special offer. We're going to give you six months absolutely free, okay? This is worth thousands of dollars that we're throwing out all together. We're going to give it to you free along with your strategy number four uh, course access. Now, this includes real-time data. So you can actually be looking at the markets in real time. You can have the signals being generated in real time if you're an intraday trader. And you can scan for these as well on a nightly basis. This is a great, great offer. We're throwing in a full six months absolutely free with strategy number four. Now, so many students tell me this, so I'd like to tell you, trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the strategy number four course. If you've been struggling, if you're not seeing the type of results you thought you would at the beginning of the year, come on board with strategy number four. I trade this on a daily basis. It's a great method. I've been using it for four decades now. So if I'm still using it, you know, it's really a really consistent method. And I'll be there with you every step of the way. If you have any questions or if something doesn't make sense, if you feel as if you're not understanding the process, you can simply email me and I'll be there to answer any question you may have. Remember, this great offer comes with a full six months free of the platform. Okay, so let's break this down. Strategy number four normally costs close to $700, all right? That still, in my opinion, is a very inexpensive price, but we're going to discount that today. You're not going to have to pay that amount. We're going to save you a full 50% discount. You're only going to be charged $347, so you'll, you'll save nearly $350, but this is for a limited time only. For less than, uh, I would say, you know, a, a couple of really nice dinners, you can have a strategy that I've been trading for over four decades, along with six full months of the platform, absolutely free. Here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. Remember, I teamed up with them, and they're in charge of all the discounts, all the packaging, all the tech support. Uh, I would highly recommend calling them at this number, 310-598-6677. They have trading consultants who are manning the phones right now. They'd be more than happy to take your order over the phone. You can be up and running as early as today, not only with strategy number four and all the educational videos, also with the platform as well. Now, you can also call them up. There's absolutely no obligation for any questions about tech support or about data or anything of that nature. Now, I'm going to take the questions that you may have concerning trading. So as I said, we're at the end of the presentation now. If you have any questions concerning how to apply the three exit strategies that I just talked about today or a question with one, please do not hesitate to ask. Just simply go to your either your chat box or the question and answer box at the top 
of the Zoom page and just ask me a question. I promise I'll answer it to the best of my ability, okay? Uh, someone's asking, how long is this offer good for? Well, this is a really deep discounted offer. Remember, you're getting a 50% discount. You're, it's going to be less than $350 for the entire uh, strategy number four course, the video courses, which are yours to keep. You're also getting a full six months free of the platform, the PTS Primo Char Charting Platform, that comes with a host of other different tools and indicators that you can use as well that you won't find anywhere else other than the platform. And that normally would cost you thousands of dollars you're getting for $347.50. So because this is such a great discount, it's not going to be going, running very long, probably uh, no more than over the weekend. After that, we go on to the next promotion with the next course. So I would maybe watch this video again. You'll be receiving the video, watch it, but make a decision uh, over the weekend or by the very latest Monday, because then it'll go back to the full nearly $700 uh, price tag, and it may not even include the platform with it as well. So this is a really great, great offer. Uh, someone saying, what if I have a question? What if I don't get it? I haven't been trading for very long, and I don't really understand a lot of things yet. There's not you know, anything to worry about. Strategy number four is a very basic beginner's course. And if you have trouble, it's not like we're leaving you out in the cold. Everyone gets my personal email address where you can contact me whenever you'd like. So if you have a, a question about how to apply strategy for or how to even apply the platform with it, you can email me and I'll answer your, your questions within a matter of minutes, okay, as fast as I can. It's just almost as close as having me sitting right there next to you. But since I can't do that with our thousands of uh, students, this is the best next process, okay? Any more questions while we have here? Remember, even if you're on the fence, watch the video and say to yourself, you know, I could use this information. He just gave me three exit strategies in good faith. Uh, I think I can afford 347.50. Uh, become a student of mine and enter this, this really great course that can really, in my opinion, take your trading to the next level, okay? All right, if there are no further questions, remember that's the link right there on the chat box. You can click that on. It will take you right up to the info page. You can sign up online. I would strongly suggest calling 310-598-6677 and talk to one of the trading consultants. Even if you're not going to buy right now, there's no pressure. There's absolutely no obligation. They can answer any more questions that you may have, okay? As we take one last look at our disclaimer, uh, I hope you learned something today. Remember, you can start applying these three exit methods as soon as today, as soon as we get off. I would highly recommend going back and looking at your last five, 10, 15 trades and seeing how they could have helped you and then practicing a little bit paper trading with them before you really apply them uh, to real trades. But I'm, I'm almost, I'm so confident that using these, you will really increase your odds for consistency, okay? As we close, I just want to say thank you so much for attending today's video. And I, I, I wish you the best of luck in trading, but most especially, I look forward to seeing you as students of mine in the strategy number four course. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.